Hello everybody and welcome back to Prepared Solo Dark Souls. So today we're going to go take on the Bed of Chaos. I hate that sentence. So as you can see here, we've got Mr. Soler. Um, Why? After all this dirty. He's a bit like a bit down in the dumps, but he has survived. He doesn't have a sunlit maggot burrowing out his brain. So let's go and find the Witch Faisal. And now, as I said before, when I was doing Centipede Demon, I think it was. I don't know the legitimate way of getting to the Witch of Isolith, so I always use the shortcut. So that's what we're going to do today. Because I, 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 I would look and I search and I search and I just, I just don't understand that place. I don't understand where you're supposed to go, so I just kind of use the shortcut. And yeah, All right. So here we are at the shortcut. Now, in case of you, those of you that don't actually, oh Jesus. Though, in case you're the ones that don't actually know about this, you have to get to a rank 2 in the Chaos Servant. When you do it, it'll look like that. Chaos Servant plus 2. Now, with that, of course, that gives you um, access to this shortcut down here, as well as um, Chaos Firestorm, if I remember correctly. It also gives you these little guys down here. They're really harmless. They're completely harmless, actually, from what I can remember. I don't know if they attack or not. Um, they do give, like, tiny amounts of XP, um, souls and sunlight maggots, though. Um, not sunlight maggots. The red one gives sunlight maggots the first time you kill it. That's about it. So, yeah, basically you get this by, I think it's 30 humanity given to the fair lady when you are a member of the Chaos Servants, and then you can come down here and you can gain access to this little shortcut. Now what the shortcut does, it makes you circumvent uh, Solaire dying. So Solaire will not get the Sunlight Maggot in his head, you will get the Sunlight Maggot yourself, which is a very handy thing to go through the next Tomb of Giants with, and all you have to do is kind of look, sort of like get along this path, and as you can see Lost Isolith, and if that makes any dis difference to you, look we're up here! Yeah, I, I guess I guess not. Now, this guy is Titanite Demon. Titanite Demon is a really, really Freaking powerful, and yeah, as you can see, it says try range battle because they're so goddamn strong. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is gonna sleep slumbering dragon crest, whatever the hell you'd want to call that ring. Now, I'm gonna see if I can walk past him. Actually, that's a horrible idea. I just kind of realized what that would be doing. I got an idea, a new idea. I'm gonna hit him in the friggin' back and hopefully kill him before he turns around and murders me. Oh god, oh god, please don't murder me! That was not part of my plan! Me dying is not part of my plan! Oh, shit. Did he actually die? No, he was on nothing. Son of a bitch! Right, and we're back. Now, as recommended, we're gonna try a ranged battle, because ranged battle is gonna probably benefit us quite majorly. We're gonna also put on the Ring of Steel protection. Now I've got to sort of open this up very well. And I miss. Okay, right. So we're going to have to get a bit closer, it seems, to hit him. Because I'm very limited on arrows. You can see 93. That's not what I'm normally used to when I'm using arrows. There we go. I hit him. That Did that actually damage him? Oh god, please say that damaged him. Did he actually just turn around? And it's just like, nah, nah. I'm I'm gonna leave this fight. I'm... Oh god! Oh. You, you fired the wrong way, my friend. Come on. Come, up, come a bit closer so I can actually lock on and start doing damage. No. No, 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 no. You're not slicing or jumping either. You friggin' jump, that's it. We're not gonna be friends anymore. Come on. Come, come closer. There we go, I can... I can lock onto you. Look, I can hit you now. That's where you should be, okay? Good. You should stay there. Do not friggin' jump. I know what you're like. I, I know you like jumping at me and hurting me and friggin' causing me monstrous amounts of damage, but that's not happening. No friggin' way. Move! Arrow! Arrow! Okay, right. So this is how you fire in a ranged battle. 
Uh, have him at a certain distance and just let him keep firing lightning. After each lightning bolt, shoot him with an arrow. And another arrow. And a couple of hundred more. Because I haven't raised up my bow, so it's doing friggin' monstrously small amounts of damage. Monstrously small. Never thought I'd be saying that word. Monstrously big? Yes. Monstrously small? No. Now, of course, this is going to take ages, so only do this if you're patient. And also, don't try and do two shots, because that's just stupid. Because by the time the second one gets past, you'll be screwed. Now, also, another thing to notice, uh, you might get shocked like I do when I see NPCs. Um, once you enter Lost Eyes Lift, if you've used this shortcut correctly, etc., and Soleil has lived past the centipede demon, and, you know, you've used this shortcut before the centipede demon if I remember correctly you have to do it um yeah basically he will be sitting in this shortcut sort of complaining and being very 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 despondent pretty much suicidal at this point and yeah we're just gonna keep hammering away at this guy hammering away alright so here we are um, so to answer the age-old question of how many arrows does it take to kill a titanite de this titanite demon with a one plus longbow, a lot more than a hundred. But I can finish him off that. That was epic. That was epic in my <laughs> in my opinion. That was like so friggin' epic. Just you know, yeah. Now here's the problem. From what I can remember, he actually respawns. So. If, for example, I die against the Witch of Isolith, the Bed of Chaos, whatever you'd want to call it, which I'm pretty sure I will, I have to do that all over again. And I'm running out of arrow. I've completely run out of arrows, that's something I ran out of ages ago. Um, I'm running out of sanity, that's another thing that's going, going gone in this run. Sanity. All forms of it. No, nope, no more sanity. None. These things are some drive my noodle or something. I don't. I I should make more sort of words. Yeah, I I should make sentences in advance. I I need sentences to be what? Come on, please stop with the fire, please. There we go. Okay, cool. And you there? You wish to die? Yep. There you go. Complimentary death. Served by Ornstein the Psych Wielder. You know, the, the spear is cool and all, but nothing beats a scythe. Right, a fool ahead. Is, is fool ahead? Ah, I, it looks kind of summer, very, very hot and all. I, I, I have bloody terrible jokes. What's up there? What the hell is... Oh, that's one of those eyeball thingies. Those... Now, if, um, what's his face, Mr. Facey Man person, survives, I'm pretty sure that floor breaks, actually. Not gonna lie. Anyway, um, if Mr. Person with a face survives, uh, Onion Knight, if Onion Knight survives, you can meet him in this area and also continue with the storyline where he jumps into a group of people. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Now, to sort of give Cora a shout out, yes, I do want to invade you and I will bloody destroy you. I will wreck your shit of some sort of trash talk. Now, of course. Oh my god! I forgot about you! <laughs> now, of course, he's not going to see that um, insult until probably maybe after I fight him. What the hell are you? Why? What are you doing out there? What is out there? Okay, so that's... I, I don't like Lost Isolith at all. Are we actually going backwards? I can't remember my way through Lost Isolith. Yeah, that's backwards. That's pretty sure that's backwards. So I'm going to go the other way. Hello, you friggin' creepy eyeball thing. Oh, jeez. Along here, if I remember correctly, also there's saw more... These people, pyromancers. Yeah. 
F your couch! F your couch! Oh god, oh god, no! <laughs> My only weakness, pyromancy! And firestorm! Chaos! What the frick? Oh god, you're gonna keep firestorming, aren't you? Come on, you cheeky. No! You're not friggin' firestorming me anymore! There we go, I'll firestorm you! Yeah, I'll firestorm you. That's that sort of sounds like a like sort of like cool sort of new age activity really firestorming. Like you like ride on fire or something. Maybe that's what like the second son infamous Fingerma Bobby does. Weakness jumping. Need tears. Yep. You're gonna need some friggin' good tears for this. I can't take this to get that makes sense. Right. Time for the witch of Isolith. Oh, bed of chaos. Oh, <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go again on my own. Because you can't summon anyone, and here I'm pretty sure you can't at least, I'm not quite sure, I don't know. Can you jump off that? No. Okay, hello bed of chaos, hello you, I... oh my god. Right, the bed of chaos, if you didn't know, is more of a puzzle. It isn't a fight. You can't call this thing a fight. This is a puzzle. Really. This is just a giant ass puzzle. Hello. Let me hit you. There we go. Right. That's one of its orbs out. See, this is what I mean. It's a puzzle. You've got to hit that side, and you hit the other side. Then you can get into the middle of it. Now, I've never hit more than one side. So... Yeah, this could go very, 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 very badly, very, 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 very fast. And it will go very, very badly, very, very fast. Because I don't actually know what to do anymore. Um, not gonna lie, I... I, I really don't know. Um... Ouch. Thank you. I didn't need that floor anyway. You're gonna push me down a hole, aren't you? Ouch. Can you stop? Please! Nope, you're gonna push me down. I hate you! Alright, let's go see about dueling Mr. Core, shall we? Right, and we are back at the um, Bed of Chaos. Unfortunately, me and Core couldn't seem to get the duel to work, so we decided to give up on it for now until he is in the catacombs. So, let's get back to this. Now, I have to admit, I have looked up a way of how to fight this because, honestly, I've never beaten... I've never beaten this. So I looked up a way of how to fight it, and... Yeah, because it's just a crap boss. It's not a boss, it's a puzzle. And I've looked up a way of... What the... Wait a minute, what? The shield's down? Okay, cool. Um, so the shield is down already. Which means we don't really have to worry too much, actually, now that that is down. Because that's done half of the puzzle for me. Now, I just need to shoot her from this distance in the stupid little thing, whatever the... What is that? I mean, I need to shoot her in her thing. There we go, I need to trigger that. Now, I'm pretty sure it's about there. Come on. Come on. One hit, all I need. Just need one hit into shield. Whatever the bloody hell you'd want to call that thing. I don't know whether or not you can hit me if I go any further. I don't want to go any further. Let's see where she can hit. What the? She has fireballs. Oh, well, that does kind of make sense that Mother of Pyromancy can use fire. Come on, where am I hitting? Where am I hitting? Come on. Okay, so I've seen this done, so I know it's possible. I just don't know where you're supposed to aim, so I can't even see it from here. I don't know, is it visible from the outside? What you're supposed to hit? So far, I can't seem to get a hit on it. Aha! I can get around here, this is safe. There we go, just outside of her reach. And that is our little hit. Come on, hit the god... Hit it. Hit it, yes. Okay, so that's both the shields down. 
Fantastic. Haha. -ha. What are you doing now? Oh, you're getting out of second hand. Uh, that's 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 just that's not gravy. That's not cool, man. That isn't cool. Oh Jesus! Oh jeez, that was close. Oh sweet Jesus. Um, okay. So, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck. Okay then, um... She is going to firestorm, is she? Okay. Well, come on, break floor... There we go! That's what I needed. I needed a floor to break, because that's where I've got to aim for. Oh crap, that was nearly me falling down. Okay. Come on. Come on. I've got to jump. Oh my fucking god! Even more reasons why I don't like the Witch of Isolith. Bed of Chaos. It's a pointless fight! It's not a fight, it's a puzzle. It's a couple of dodges. It's a couple of dodges and then you... Oh god. It's a couple of dodges and that's it. Alright. Let's get back there. Alright, here we go with round three. Of which advice of despair ahead, yes. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty smart that. This is just this is just cruel. This is it's a stupid fight. It's not a fight. I, I refuse to call the Witch of Isla a boss. Bot dead bed of chaos or whatever you want to call her her boss. She's attacking me before I'm in. You cheap bastard. I mean really, you're gonna attack before I'm even in? That's just cheap. Come on then. Sweep. And sweep. Come on, where's the second sweep? And sweep. And smack. What? That's like doing friggin' aerobics with her. There we go! Look! Look! I'm underneath you now, bitch! I'm gonna get in there, actually, before she does something else stupid. Look! Screw your stupid... Screw all your sticks. Fucking up your sticks now. Look, this is what you get. You mess with me, I fuck up your sticks. Mess up, yo. What the? Really? Okay, it's fine. Screw it. This thing dies. Look, look. How'd you like that, bed of chaos? Yeah, mangle up your crap. Did that survive more than one hit? Wow, we've done it. Oh, there's a bonfire. Well, oh, that makes sense. I guess. So yeah, we have finally su not succumb. We have finally overcome the bed of chaos. It's fantastic. So yeah, thank you for joining me. I've been the Agent. Until next time, praise the sun, shell up your faces, and ta-ra!